Hey YouTube, Radical Order back with another video. Um, I think it's been a good two or three weeks since I've uh, last uploaded a video, so sorry about that hiatus. Uh, I did pick up several things in the last couple of weeks, like uh, Brave on Blu-ray and Hitman Absolution, or a couple other things, but uh, just couldn't find that time to unbox them, unfortunately. Just been busy uh, gearing up for finals and uh, <clears throat> with work, so uh, sorry about that. But uh, anyways, to uh, compensate for that, hopefully, uh, I do have a pretty big video here. This is my Black Friday haul for this year, uh, this being 2012, so... Uh, I, I think I did pretty well. I've heard a lot of other uh, YouTubers who are into the whole Blu-ray scene <clears throat> uh, say that they didn't think this year was quite as good compared to the last two or three years uh, for Blu-rays in particular, but uh, uh, as you could obviously tell here, um, I would probably tend to disagree. I, I did find a lot of stuff that uh, I didn't already have in my collection, so uh, I think it was a pretty pretty good uh, week. <clears throat> um, I do have them all ready organized uh, according to where I got them from. So this left column here is Best Buy, surprisingly enough. It's my biggest um, biggest hole by far amongst all the other uh, retailers. Middle one is Amazon and the one on the right is Walmart. So uh, I guess we'll just go through uh, pile by pile as quick as possible. I'm going to try to do this all in one cut, so uh, <clears throat> let's get going. Uh, first one, we'll get through the steelbooks. These ones weren't necessarily part of Black Friday uh, exclusively for Best Buy, but uh, <clears throat> All these were $9.99 the week before Black Friday, the week during Black Friday, and I believe they're still $9.99 for a couple more weeks while uh, WB has them out. So definitely pick these up. Uh, if you still want them, they should be available. Um, your mileage may vary, though, of course, as with all steelbooks. Um, so first one, we have the Book of Eli, a really nice steelbook, $9.99, of course. Uh, 300 also $9.99, great movie. I already owned the uh, Amaray basic version, but I uh, decided to get the steelbook. Next up we have The Shawshank Redemption, classic film, not much to say there, definitely pick it up. Uh, the Hangover, uh, The Hangover 2, definitely uh, had to have those two uh, matching, they're really nice steel books. And then lastly, The Departed, this one's probably my uh, favorite amongst the bunch, really cool. <clears throat> so there's the steel books from Best Buy, $9.99 each, like I said. I'll put those aside here. Next up, just getting to then Black Friday normal Blu-rays, we have the Raid Redemption. This one was uh, $9.99 if I remember correctly. Oh no, I'm sorry. This one was actually part of buy one, get one half off um, at Black Friday for uh, Best Buy. Actually, I think it was just buy one, get one free now that I think about it. Because, yeah, this one was normally $14.99 and uh, I guess I'll reel this one in with it. Uh, these were both $14.99. However, it was buy one, get one free, so basically paid $14.99 plus tax for both of these, equated to about $7.50 for each uh, individually, which is an excellent deal. Uh, the Raid Redemption, this was a blind buy for me, haven't seen it also for the artist, but uh, they've both gotten their fair amount of uh, critical acclaim, so great deal in my opinion. Definitely check those movies out. <clears throat> Next up we have, this was probably one of my, arguably my best find this Black Friday. I got all four seasons of Breaking Bad. I've already seen all of these episodes <clears throat> on Netflix, um, and uh, including part one of season five. But uh, I figured it's one of those TV series that I like enough to where I can uh, justify buying them. And seasons one and two was by far probably the best deal I've got this Black Friday. Um, I'm not sure if it was a slip on Best Buy's part or not, but uh, this was part of that buy one get one free deal. Um, <clears throat> I believe these were both, um, I want to say, these were each going to be $11.99, um, but they were both part of the buy one, get one free. So I got the first two seasons of Breaking Bad for a total of $11.99 plus tax, which is just unheard of for, um, you know, two TV series seasons combined. Uh, that broke down to, what, like, you know, $6 per season, which uh, even Mad Men last year wasn't quite as good. It was $10 per season. These ones, unfortunately, weren't part of the sale through uh, seasons three and four. But they were still only $11.99 each on Amazon, and they're, they're new, so um, I didn't expect these to be buy one, get one free. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, got the whole, all four seasons of Breaking Bad for a grand total of like 35 bucks, which is just ridiculously good, so really happy with that. Um, definitely worth owning, I re highly recommend it. don't think I like Breaking Bad quite as much as Mad Men, but it's still excellent and worth, worth checking out. Um, absolutely. So, uh, next up we have... The combo packs with slipcovers of the campaign and Dark Shadows, these were each 12 dollars 
they had the bare bones single disc versions for $7.99. Uh, however, I figured I'd get the combo packs. I had already considered buying these for you know full price when they uh, were brand new for upwards of $20. So getting these for you know $12.99 was was a no brainer for me. Next up, we have. Uh, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button, not much to say here, I think it was $3.99, so it's a ridiculously good price for that movie. <clears throat> Next up, Taken. This one was $7.99, I believe, at Best Buy. Not probably the best deal, but uh, I've noticed it's hard to come by. I don't think it's out of print yet, but uh, the production line must be slowing down, because that's uh, I've never seen this one really anywhere, so I figured for 8 bucks I'd just add it to the collection. And I actually haven't seen Taken, surprisingly, so uh, let me know how that is in the comments. Next up we have uh, Get the Gringo with Mel Gibson. Uh, I've heard this is kind of uh, Mel Gibson's reemergence uh, into film as actually being <clears throat> worthwhile, um, not just a joke. So uh, I'm really anxious uh, to watch this movie. Probably going to be one of the first amongst all these that I decide to watch. So. Next up we have Kill Bill Volume 2. I already have Volume 1. Never got around to picking this one up. It was $3.99, uh, so I couldn't pass it up. Big Tarantino fan. Uh, next up we have The Lookout. <clears throat> this one, uh, I've seen it for $3.99 at Amazon and Best Buy. I kind of overlooked it at first, but uh, <clears throat> since I keep, uh, kept seeing it, so, uh, seeing it so much, I just uh, I checked it out on Rotten Tomatoes and um, <clears throat> also made a thread on Blu-ray.com on the forums just uh, kind of asking for other people's input. And generally speaking, a lot of people seem to be uh, <clears throat> fond of it, so I decided to pick it up also $3.99, so that was a blind buy. Next up we have Yes Man with Jim Carrey. I already have this on DVD, but uh, I figured I'd double dip and get the upgrade uh, for $3.99. It's a, a good film. I like Jim Carrey. And, uh, pretty good overall. Solid comedy. Next up we have Just Go With It <clears throat> with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Pretty good. I know it got very mixed um, critical reception, but uh, I remember renting it like the week it came out on uh, on DVD and Blu-ray. and I remember I, I did like it. It was only $3.99, so it's worth it at that price. Next up, we have Men in Black 1 and Men in Black 2. These each were $7.99, I believe, <clears throat> um, which isn't a bad deal. These both released, I think, last time, uh, last year, um, right before Men in Black 3 came out, um, which I think was this summer, because I remember seeing that at the drive-in. But uh, regardless, yeah, not a bad deal for these. They don't have slip covers, but, uh, you know, it's no big deal. Um, next we have She's Out of My League. This was a blind buy, but it was $3.99, and I like these type of uh, slapstick comedies, so uh, anxious to watch that. Next we have Salt with Angelina Jolie. Also, surprisingly, a blind buy. I know uh, a ton of people saw this. I was one of them that didn't, unfortunately. Uh, I've been anxious to try to see it, but uh, yeah, it was only $3.99, so a lot of blind buys, if you haven't noticed yet. Uh, next up, The Crow. <clears throat> now, this one's a classic. Uh, I've had it on DVD now for like 10 years, I think, and uh, <clears throat> probably seen it a total of like 15 times. Um, so, definitely worth owning on Blu ray. It's also the combo pack. Next up, we have The Social Network. <clears throat> uh, this is not my favorite David Fincher film uh, by any means. I definitely like, uh, probably like Fight Club considerably more, but. Uh, you know, it's still a good film. I really like the style that it's filmed in. Um, it's kind of like that whole, especially like the first, I'd say, quarter to third of the film with kind of like Harvard and all the surrounding um, settings there. Just the, the film style was awesome. Um, so yeah, I like David Fincher. And I owned this before, uh, admittedly. I had just the, uh, the normal blockbuster version that was like marked as a rental. So that was kind of driving me nuts. I figured I'd get this. This is only $3.99 for this really nice first edition packaging version so that was worth it in my opinion next up we're getting to the Amazon pile just to let you know <clears throat> uh, this is John Carter 3d this wasn't by any means a spectacular deal uh, it was a lightning deal for 1796 um, so some people would think that that's a little bit high for a Black Friday deal but it is um, a four disc combo pack and when you're getting a 3d blu-ray a normal blu-ray DVD digital copy and a lenticular slip cover um, you really can't beat that. Um, this thing has been like 33 to $35 on Amazon consistently for the last, I think, like three months. And I really regret not buying this at launch. Um, <clears throat> so I'm glad that I found it as a lightning deal. Next up, we have uh, A Christmas Carol. This is the latest Robert Zemeckis uh, version with Jim Carrey, of course. Uh, <clears throat> I think I would go as far as saying this is my favorite adaptation of A Christmas Carol. 
Um, just a good one tone. I think this one was, uh, how much was this? I think this was $10 or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think that one was even really on sale. I just figured I'd buy it since uh, it's November, almost the holiday season. So next up, we have Real Steel. Uh, this one was on Amazon for $9.99, so that was a really good deal. Um, I almost bought this as an upgrade and save deal at uh, Best Buy, I think like two months back, and would have got it for like probably like 13 or 14 bucks. But um, finally, uh, the Amazon deal was you know good enough for me since it wasn't you know taxable or anything. It was just $9.99, and uh, comes with the slipcover, two-disc combo pack, not the not the three-disc one with the 3D, but uh, I don't have a 3D Blu-ray. Uh, I have a 3D Blu-ray player, but I don't have a 3D TV, so it would be pointless anyway. Next up, we have the gray. <clears throat> this is the combo pack. Doesn't have a slipcover, unfortunately, but uh, it's not the first uh, first edition or run, so you can't really uh, expect that. But anyway, uh, this is a blind buy for me. Uh, I've heard a lot about this movie. Very mixed reception, so I'm anxious to watch it and uh, you know formulate my own opinion about it. Next up, we have the Austin Powers collection. This was a good deal. Um, on Amazon, this was $14.99 for the entire collection. This thing's consistently been like at least $30 every time I've looked for it. <clears throat> and I know they recently released a triple pack, which is just a normal MRA case, and then it has, um, you know, just all three discs in it, but they're all individually packaged in here in little sum cases, and it's got this cool box that's holographic, so uh, for extra five bucks, I'd prefer that version. <clears throat> Next up, we have the King's Speech. This one was. I think this was $4.99 on Amazon. Really good deal. Um, I have seen this once. Uh, I thought it was really good. I think it definitely lived up to the uh, amount of acclaim it got and the uh, amount of awards also. Uh, four Academy Awards, as you see there. Next up, the Adjustment Bureau. This is a blind buy for me. <clears throat> Similarly, heard mixed things about it, but uh, I figured it was uh, $7.99 on Amazon, so I figured for that price uh, it was worth, worth a blind buy. All right, and next up we have the Grinch. This one was $7.99 on Amazon. <clears throat> um, this one's been really hard to find on Blu-ray everywhere. Every time I've seen it, uh, it's either been sold out. I don't think I've ever seen this in person at like Walmart or Best Buy, but uh, online it's always like $16, $17, and it's just never been worth it for me. But um, for eight bucks, yeah. Uh, so next up we have Wrath of the Titans. This one's uh, was $3.99 on Amazon. <clears throat> um, Got Clash of the Titans at Walmart. Uh, that one is going to be in my next pile, I believe. But uh, yeah, three ninety nine for that. And then we have Cowboys and Aliens, uh, of course, with uh, Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford. Uh, blind buy for me. I actually never saw this. Uh, admittedly, when I saw the original uh, theatrical trailers when I was in theaters, I, I thought it looked pretty uh, ridiculous. But um, Never got around to renting it, and uh, I've heard some of my friends said it is actually reasonably good, so uh, <clears throat> I figured, you know, this was also uh, $7.99, so I figured for that price uh, it would be worth blind buying and uh, giving it a shot. Next up, we have In Time. Uh, this one has Amanda Seyfried and Justin Timberlake. Uh, this one is also a blind buy. It was $3.99, or four, no, this one was actually, how much was this? This was like somewhere from a four to six dollar range, four ninety nine, five ninety nine, whatever. Um, it was I saw it on Amazon. It was like the number one top seller, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday uh, last week, and um, I knew nothing about it. I checked it out. At first, it didn't interest me, but then um, I did read some user reviews and um, also the Blu-ray.com review, and uh, like the picture quality and everything seems to be uh, really good. And I've heard some people say they really like the premise uh, of the plot. There's just some poor execution with, with acting and whatnot. But uh, I'm still anxious to give this one a shot and see what it's all about. Next up, we have Project X. This was $7.99, <clears throat> which was a steal for the combo pack, you know, getting the DVD, ultraviolet digital copy, and a slipcover. Just watched this for the first time um, last week on one of the weeknights. And um, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. I don't think I'd watch it. Uh, it doesn't have very much replay value. Uh, I think John the Flickpick said that in his uh, his review of it, and uh, I would tend to agree. It's just uh, it's kind of like a mock documentary, and it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, allure after the credits roll for the first time. So next up, we have Black Swan uh, with Natalie Portman. I think this one. Let's see. If I remember correctly, I think this one's also directed by David Fincher. Um, who, if you don't remember, was uh, The Social Network and uh, Fight Club and whatnot. So, blind buy for me, but uh, I really do like that direction style. 
Uh, regardless if it's David Fincher or not, it still looks pretty intriguing to me. It was uh, also seven ninety nine, I believe. So I uh, know slip cover, but uh, oh well. And then we're getting finally to the Walmart uh, pile here. This one was probably behind Breaking Bad as my best uh, find or pickup. I don't, I haven't seen anyone else on the Blu-ray forums or anyone else um, in their Black Friday Blu-ray haul videos that have mentioned this one or found it. <coughs> Um, or at least for nearly as good of a deal as I managed to find it for. It was actually in Walmart. Um, it had one of the little blue stickers, and the blue promo sticker meant that it was three ninety six. So this movie was actually just shy of four dollars. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake on just my Walmart's um, part, or if it really was supposed to be part of the three ninety six um, deal. It just was much more rare. Um, but yeah, I really like this movie. I think I've seen it three times now. Um, watched it once since I got it on Blu-ray has excellent PQ and uh, really good special features so <clears throat> this was probably my one of my best finds I think for 396 next up another 396 movie this is friends with benefits um, with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis all right and back again sorry about that cut so uh, yes friends with benefits um, I rented this uh, a couple months back when it came out on uh, Blu-ray and DVD and I think I did like it uh, a decent amount. I, I thought it was okay. I remember I got this one mixed up a lot with uh, No Strings Attached. I believe that one has um, Ashton Kutcher and Natalie Portman. Uh, and they just both seem so similar in the whole structure and the whole plot line and all that. I really don't know what's up with that. Uh, there's probably some lawsuits going on between the two because they're premise-wise they're both very similar and surprisingly neither are terrible. Um, I can't remember which one of the two that I remember liking more, but uh, I do like Mila Kunis more than Natalie Portman, so I guess uh, if that counts for anything, um, maybe I like that one more. Next we have <coughs> uh, Hellboy 2. This is a blind buy for me. I have Hellboy 1 already in my collection. I've seen that one plenty of times and like it. Uh, never got around to seeing the sequel though, so uh, for three ninety six, I figured I'd give it a shot. Next we have Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. This one was uh, <clears throat> a huge sigh of relief for me when I finally got my hands on a copy because uh, I went to two Walmarts. The first Walmart I went to, uh, first of all, this one was eight ninety six, which is a great deal for the combo pack with the slip cover. Uh, it just came out a couple weeks ago, um, so this is one of the ones I had my eyes set on uh, that I knew I wanted to buy. And uh, the first Walmart <clears throat> was sold out uh, instantly. I just saw a couple copies on DVD, which uh, had no uh, meaning to me. And then uh, actually I actually went to the second Walmart. And all the copies they had of this weren't anywhere near their Black Friday Blu-ray section. They were just back in electronics where they normally are. It was, um, you know, the price label said it was just the normal MSRP price of like $19.99 or $22.99. But, of course, since it's the same EPC as um, the Black Friday one, uh, it rang up as $8.96. So, uh, good, good, uh, that was good to find my Walmart uh, kind of drop the ball on... Uh, on moving these to the Black Friday section and as a result I definitely capitalized on it and got myself a copy of this for just shy of nine bucks so really good uh, deal next up <clears throat> the last of the Mohicans this is another 396 movie uh, not much to say on this one Daniel Day Lewis uh, great film definitely worth four dollars next up we have safe house this is another one of the 896 movies um, I got this the same way I got Abraham Lincoln, uh, Vampire Slayer, uh, Hunter, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I got it the same way, though. I, um, they didn't have any of these in the Black Friday Blu-ray section. And, um, yeah, I just decided to go back to electronics, pick this one up, and it scanned at 896. So uh, there were plenty of copies, probably like 10 on the shelf. Battleship, this is one that I didn't find the same way as the last two, um, <clears throat> and unfortunately, as a result, it doesn't have a slipcover, which sucks, but it was uh, 896 and a slipcover is not uh, a necessity for me, so that's Battleship. <clears throat> Next up, we have Tower Heist. This one, I was really glad to find the slipcover. Uh, it was 796 It's not labeled with the sticker. Uh, I think it is under the slipcover though, but yeah, black. That's pretty much irrelevant. But anyways, I remember renting this, and kind of reminded me of the Expendables in a lot of ways. Not 
in terms of the story or anything, but uh, just in terms of how they managed to ensemble a huge cast. And it kind of came out undercooked, uh, in my opinion. I don't think it was excellent, but uh, some wasted potential, but still not terrible. Definitely worth owning for seven, eight bucks, especially when it's the first edition with the steel book and or not steel book with the slipcover and the you know uh, combo pack. <clears throat> The next up, we have another 396 movie, Howard Ridley Scott's Kingdom of Heaven, the director's cut. Not much to say here. If you haven't seen it already, <clears throat> you need to see this movie. Um, it's really long, but if you have the patience to sit through it and you have uh, kind of a little time slot to dedicate uh, to this movie, it's worth every second of it. <clears throat> and lastly, we have Iron Man. This is one I also had my eyes set on. This Marvel films are always so expensive on Blu-ray consistently, too. Um... I was really glad to see a lot of the Marvel films <clears throat> on Blu-ray uh, on sale this year because, like, Captain America, I think, was seven ninety six or so. And then this, uh, even though it's only a single-disc Gamma-ray version, uh, it's nothing too exciting. This thing is always, like, at least 10 to $15, and it was only three ninety six. So I already own Iron Man 2 um, and all the other Marvel films, so or at least the recent ones within the last five, six years. Um, so... It was really uh, redeeming to finally buy this uh, simple edition of Iron Man 1. So, <clears throat> that is the entire uh, Black Friday haul for this year. Um, I think it's just about on par with how many Blu-rays I got last year. Uh, if you want to find my uh, <clears throat> Black Friday haul video for last year, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, yeah, I'd say it was a, a great Black Friday. I'm definitely satisfied with what I added to my collection. So now it's uh, just the fun game of trying to... Uh, incorporate all these into my collection <clears throat> which leads me into my next um and the next thing i wanted to talk about uh my next plan video is going to be my collection video for blu-rays i know i've had it requested a lot so i'm sorry for the delay on that for uh, all of you um who have who have been wondering where it is um <clears throat> it's coming uh it's just i do categorize all my blu-rays in alphabetical order so what happens is when i get a big haul like this um I always end up just putting these on top of my shelf, and then I have to find the time to, you know, pull them all out and incorporate them all into the alphabetical um, organization. So um, once I once I can do that, I will be filming my um, collection video. Um, it's it's going to take a while though. Uh, I, I think the last time I had attempted to record it, it was um, like 35 minutes, and I had only gotten through half of it. So I'm going to have to really cut down on the talking. Um, and just just get that thing recorded quick so look out for that soon uh, i promise it's coming as soon as possible but anyway uh yeah thanks for watching guys